Hello guys and well as the final and fifth session of this um, video sequence uh, we'll talk about the everyday utilities of Scanty PWA programmer. We will cover the tools for debugging requests and for browsing the database. Each tool can be different on your operational system. I will just go through multiple so you will know what to use if you will desire if you will decide to go for scan the pwa well the first thing i would recommend you is graphql playground graphql playground can be downloaded from github so it's an open source project uh, if you type in graphql playground you can find the uh, setup here in the releases or if you are on arch linux you can use the YI to download it. So if I press YI GraphQL, um, it should find me some. Uh, I don't remember the full command for me, but anyway, you can use your favorite uh, version. You can use your favorite uh, module or application management in order to find this GraphQL playground and you can download the release here and compile it if you would like. You can see that it's uh, available on Mac, it's available on Windows and it's also available on Linux and you can even uh, download and build it for your specific Linux machine. Yeah, so that's a thing. So uh, GraphQL Playground and the cool feature about it is that, yeah, of course, it can store the schema. So like you add your tabs, you do your jobs and then you can open your directory and it will have your tabs saved and the URL saved. And you can also add different workspaces. So like this is for testing product, this is for testing that and that. And it also has two interesting features. It has docs, which is really useful to understand how your queries work. Like uh, you open the query, you see, well, I want to know how categories work. And it gives you some explanation and it shows you how it can really work. So like description is a string, blah, blah, blah. Or for example, something more complex like uh, the products return category products. Very interesting. So this is uh, the docs section and another is schema where you can immediately see the whole schema declaration. It's also very useful if you want to debug something. So if you, for example, declared a new schema in Magento and you want to make sure that it works, you can right away get it from here, from the schema, and you can search here using regular expressions, and you can search here using the normal search field. That's a cool thing. Another is that you can have multiple URLs and you can predefine your code. Like if I do the query, I can have, I can beautify it if I want. Yeah, so I can press predefine, does predefine. It has a history, of course, what was, what I was uh, requesting. So you can see that this is the history of my requests. Very interesting. You can start and have something specific from your history. If you press use, you can get it here. A different thing is that it supports additional HTTP headers and it also supports the query variables. Uh, but the bad thing about it is that uh, it does not uh, really handle the errors properly. So if your uh, GraphQL server responded with non-JSON error, you will see this issue, which is not really usable enough. So to uh, inspect the element, you can open the inspector here and you can actually see how your request is sent. And you can see it responded with 502 bad gateway. This was the reason why it was like this. So it was an introspection query, another introspection query, and you can see the request like this. So it's very useful to debug. So this covers the GraphQL playground. Um, a different thing is uh, the Postman, another very useful tool to make uh, requests and see the full 
error logs right away. And you can use it not for just post requests, but also for get requests. Like here, for example, this is a get request, which takes uh, by some hash the woman dresses. I assume this is category. And you can uh, very neatly provide URL parameters here. And you can also run tests here. So for example, you want to make sure your endpoint is responding in a matter of seconds and like half a second is the average. You can write the test here and it will immediately uh, give you the results. You can also, I assume uh, there also is a button here to execute tens or hundreds of requests like a test and then see the statistic of those requests. This is really useful when you're trying to find debug which happens randomly or which happens, uh, for example, in a specific period of time. So you can track this period or you can also evaluate the performance of your application using this approach. Uh, this uh, Postman is a very established tool in the community overall. So I would even recommend getting this uh, tool on the per, uh, everyday basis because you once a month or once a week, you will definitely find a reason to use it. So my recommendation. Uh, another tool uh, is not related to GraphQL requests or uh, any type of requests. It's more like the databases. I recommend the dbeaver for database introspection. In my opinion, it works uh, the best for the uh, it works the best for Linux. On Macs, I of course recommend you the uh, SQL Pro. It's the best. Nothing can really be compared, at least from my experience. And on Linux, yes, you have uh, different solutions like uh, like DB Beaver, like SQLite, etc., etc. I believe the DB Beaver is the most powerful one. So I encourage you to use it if you don't have your own preference. So that covers up the tooling. And I believe uh, this also rounds up the um, sessions of Scan the PWA tooling. But we might also release something in the future. Uh, so stay tuned.